giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from the Salvation Army, we've got Shala Ashworth. Shala, welcome. Well, thank you, Carol. So we've got, it's, it feels like it's just one event after another after another, and then bells will be here before we know it. But let's not talk about that. We've got to start with Trivia Night. You've got this coming up. We have a Trivia Night coming up. So if you know anything about Iowa Trivia, you should come down on Saturday, September 21st and join us. Um, do you know where the world's largest strawberry is? Strawberry, Strawberry Point. Very good. Yes. That won't be one of the questions. <laughs> But those are the kind of questions we will be having. And this, this trivia night, it's our first annual trivia night, and it's going to be a fundraiser to help us raise funds to continue to do the programs that we do to help those in our community. And there'll be seven different categories of Iowa trivia, history, agriculture, sports, uh, miscellaneous, that kind of thing. Um, it's For a table of eight, it's $150. Or if you just want to come, you and your family, just two of you or something, it's $25 each. And then tell us where this is. This will be down at the Salvation Army, 1000 C Avenue Northwest, which is just down by Roosevelt School. And can you get uh, registration in advance? You can register in advance. If you go to our website, that will take you to the link, or you can give me a call and I'll get you registered. Um, we're encouraging registration in advance because tables are limited. So that is coming up uh, in September. Yes. Then you're raising funds for some great programming. You talked about that. Uh, youth programming, that's starting up. Kids going back to school. Kids going back <laughs> to school, so we go back to school too. We have our youth character building program, which starts on September 10th. and meets on Tuesdays after school until about 6, 6 ish in the evening. And the program is geared towards building our youth's uh, ability to work as a team, um, how to handle situations that are different. They, it's, it's built a lot on the Boy Scout idea. Uh, there are sections by ages, K through 12, and they get badges and, and all the way through um, of different things like sewing and cooking and building. And all through learning in a Christian atmosphere and a, and a kind atmosphere for them. How does someone register and who qualifies for the program? Anybody qualifies for the program if you're in K through 12. Um, that's not a problem. You just give us a call at 319-364-9131 and say you're interested in our youth programs and we'll get you to the right person. You said that does start up in September. Does that last all throughout the, the school year? Starts September 10th. It's every Tuesday unless it's holiday or school breaks. And yes, it lasts until mid-May. Okay. Tell us about Upward Basketball. That's starting up soon. We also have Upward Basketball that will be starting. So we get through Christmas, and then we go into our basketball season. But we start registration for Upward Basketball on October 1st, and that is for 5th and 6th graders who want to learn the fundamentals of basketball or improve their fundamentals. They will play uh, on a team and play teams throughout the community. There are different churches involved in the organization, and we have regular games. Um, so we start registration on October 1st, and then in November we have kind of a match night where we evaluate their skills, see where they're going to fit best on the teams, uh, and then it goes full, full force in January. And you said this was for 5th and 6th graders, is that correct? 5th and 6th graders, uh, yes, for us. And is there a cost involved? There is a cost. Um, they are still working on that. It's, it's under 100 but above 50. Okay. So I'll put, I'll put it there. Um, so we don't have the final fees pinned down quite yet. Where does someone learn a little bit more about these different youth programs that we are? So you would about? you would go to our website and uh, click on the youth section, and that'll get you to the different programs um, in in for our youth and for anybody who's interested in what we can provide at the Salvation Army. And you provide so much more. I mean, it's meals, it's, you know, tell us a little bit about that in a snapshot. We provide meals uh, five days a week, breakfast and lunch to anybody who needs, needs, needs to eat or just wants to have some fellowship. Uh, we have rental and utility assistance for those that just need a little extra help certain months. Um, we have a food pantry for helping folks out to fill up their food, their cupboards. Um, and, and just, we have church and we have so many other things that go on. Great resources in our community. Go to the website for more information, Shala. Welcome. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.